What is up, guys? Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers, and we're going to be starting our Z390 motherboard coverage. And to start that out, we have ASRock's Z390 Phantom Gaming SLI AC. So let's go ahead and take a look. So to start things off, ASRock has brought over their Phantom Gaming naming from their Phantom Gaming graphics cards. This way, when you hear Phantom Gaming, you're gonna associate it with an ASRock Gaming product. ASRock also keeps the Phantom Gaming look with a black PCB with red and gray accents. Overall, I think the board looks pretty good. Of course, we have Intel's LGA1151 socket on this board, and Z390 boards support both 8th and 9th generation core processors. ASRock has also outfitted this board with a 10 phase power design that makes use of 45 amp chokes. The VRM cooling on this does not look all that beefy though. At the top edge of the board, you'll find your eight pin EPS connector, a four pin CPU fan header, and a PWM header. Right below the CPU socket are two more four pin fan headers. Their location, which is sort of right in the middle of the board is a little odd though. Moving over to the edge of the board, there are four DDR4 DIMM slots that support memory up to 4300 megahertz. You'll also find a 24 pin ATX power connection and a USB 3.1 Gen 1 header. There are six SATA 6 gig ports on this board which come out at a 90 degree angle. These are of course controlled by the chipset. At the bottom of the board, you'll find the rest of your headers and connections. So from left to right, you have your HD audio header, COM port header, TPM header, two four pin RGB headers, an addressable RGB header, two USB 2.0 headers, a USB 3.1 Gen 1 header, two four pin fan headers, and your front panel headers. When it comes to expansion slots, there are two PCI Express 3.0 X16 slots and four PCI Express 3.0 X1 slots. The two X16 slots have ASRock steel armor on them. This board does support both SLI and Crossfire, but if you have two cards installed, they're gonna run at X8 speeds. You will find two Ultra M.2 slots on this board, which are PCI Express 3.0 X4 slots. The first is above the top X16 slot and supports M.2 SSDs up to 80 millimeters. The second is towards the bottom of the board and supports longer 110 millimeter M.2 SSDs and it does come with an integrated heatsink. ASRock is using their Purity Sound 4 audio on this board, which makes use of the Realtek ALC892 audio codec as well as audio grade capacitors. The audio section of the board has complete PCB isolation from the rest of the components. Finally, we come to the rear I.O., which is nicely covered by armor that says Phantom Gaming on it. For your connections from left to right, you have HDMI out, Wi-Fi antenna connections, a PS2 port, two USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports, DVI, two USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports, one's a Type A and one is a Type C, Ethernet, two more USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports, and your audio connections. A couple things to point out here, the Phantom Gaming series comes standard with 2.5 gigabit LAN, which is provided by the Realtek Dragon RTL8125AG. You'll also get dual band Wi-Fi provided by the Intel 802.11ac Wi-Fi module. Of course, there are RGBs on this board. They're located under the PCH heatsink and are controlled by ASRock's Polychrome software. The lights will be covered slightly if you have a graphics card installed, but still look pretty good overall. So when it's all said and done, I think ASRock does have a pretty good board here in the Z390 Phantom Gaming SLI AC. You do get the 802.11ac Wi-Fi as the name indicates, but across the entire Phantom line, you're, you are gonna get 2.5 gig LAN. So you're gonna have some really great LAN performance for gaming. On top of that, you do have those two M.2 drives the one does have the M.2 cooler on it as well. Now, one thing I would like to caution with this board, you know, this is sort of an overview of the board on a full review, um, but if you go to our written review, we did do some overclocking with this board and the VRM heat sinks, which we mentioned are pretty small. They don't do a good enough job when it comes to overclocking. We actually had our CPU throttle 
because of the VRMs and they were overheating. So it's something you're definitely gonna wanna keep in mind. Now we'll have our full review link below as well as where you can pick this board up. So until next time, catch you guys later.